Hey guys, we have been beta testing our desktop application. As you see, I'm running it in the background, this one. Uh, it's extremely powerful, extremely fast. So it is sending collection trade bits. Like, just keep in mind that these are not regular bits, but these are collection trade bits. Meaning that all of the NFTs in this Kitaro World official collection who share, which share the outfit, uh, whatever, whatever, are actually receiving the bits like all of these 18 items or all of these uh, 53 items depending on how many uh, nfts share that trade are getting the bit at the same time so you see here and then uh, for instance this one here so the thing is the system is quite fast and i'm going to show you like why i uh, turned off skip option skip option lets you skip bidding while you are the highest offerer so that you don't stack your uh, offers in one single nft so you reduce the risk of uh, in a for instance if it dumps or anything uh, you don't want to buy too many from the same collection so that's why people usually keep the skip setting on However, I changed this here because sometimes our members are getting confused, especially with the new speed we have, because they are like, all right, you know what? We start with like 40 to 60 bits per minute for collection offers, but then it goes down to 10. The reason for that is, is actually the system is not slowing down. The reason for that is the competitors are not able to keep up with you. They are sending only like three to five collection bits per minute while you are sending 50 to 60 and then the system actually can't find anything to outbid because it just keeps skipping because you are already the highest bidder so in order to system to send a bid if the skip option is on somebody has to outbid you if there is nobody outbidding you the system is not going to send any bids uh, but on the other hand since we are super fast as soon as somebody outbids you the system is going to uh, outbid them again so it gives you a super nice competitive edge uh, yeah as you see i th th that was the reason i toggled off the skip option there so that we can see the whole uh, speed how the system is sending bits i don't know if you guys have been sending collection trade offers but this is a really 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 competitive speed as i mentioned i haven't seen anybody else on the entire open sea who is able to send bits this fast also one good thing with the nft in it is that uh, you can start sending bits right after the reveal of the collection so yeah it also gives you a super nice advantage anyway so yeah this is how this system looks like uh, there, there is the dashboard i'm only running one trade here right now uh, it, it will come with two trades founders will have additional two trades here it is going to be a new mint all right so i'm just going to show you a little bit uh, about the template generators i've been getting many questions about it i think here on this page uh, i'm going to make a separate video for the templates alone itself but i'm just going to show you how it works here so here you enter your metrics and then there are some cool things like you can export the template of a competitor of yours if you enter uh, their wallet or you can actually add multiple wallets here so it gives you a template of uh, several of your competitors uh, it doesn't work for nft init users obviously so in other words you can't use this to get the template of another nft init user uh, you can use this to get the specific bits in a collection or in a couple of collections for instance if you enter muffers and azuki and board api club whatever and if there is an intersection with the uh, metrics you entered right here it is going to give you a template which is satisfying to both conditions obviously if you create a template like this right now it's not going to give you anything it's going to have zero results because both muffers and azukis have a higher price than the max bit price i enter here so obviously they are going to be uh, not included in this one so for instance maybe you would like to instead of muffers and azuki if your max bid price is 0.45 probably you would enter kitaro uh, and then maybe i don't know rare pepes rare rare pepes or whatever they are however they are uh, yeah this one 
So because I think I'm not even sure but these two collections are in this range. By the way, you don't have to enter any collections here. It's only if you want to focus on a niche on that particular collection. It's up to you. And then on the right side, there are the filters. So you can limit the output to collections which have a maximum of 5% royalty, which have uh, at least a thousand uh, asset count, which have at least five uh, sales per day and so on. There is actually all tooltips for every box on the left side because this is a little bit more complicated, I guess. Uh, that will explain to you all the outcomes. Then here you can, uh, it will show you the template here. So you can manage the existing templates and then you can export it to your wallet that, and you can start using. Uh, most of the templates I use are just, you know, even the, this one that I'm bidding right now. Uh, are just created with template creator so it is potentially i mean it's you still have to look at it obviously the system suggests you good things that will take hours for you to find out on your own but i still go over each and every line here yeah so you have to anyway the, these are the new two tools that are coming out i'm going to make a couple more videos probably i'm just going to make a video when i'm running it in full speed uh, and then I'm going to probably create something uh, with the template creator and I'm going to place bits on it. Yeah, that's pretty much all. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. Uh, all right. Happy trades and happy flips.